Welcome to Trucking with Fifths. Today we got two loads to do, Basin City and Des Moines. Uh, we do talk a little bit about the truck, my truck, my Freightliner FLD. Um, stay tuned for that and stay tuned for some trucking. Good morning. Welcome to uh, Mason City, Iowa. Uh, we're done with our load already delivering. Um, it's sort of a, a sort of a gross morning, honestly. It's really windy. And uh, you look, so I'm sitting at the Casey's. Look at those clouds, a little creepy. It's not the worst of it though. Let's see if you can even see this. Some weird clouds going on. It's about time to get the heck out of Dodge. South, which is the direction we're facing right now, doesn't look too bad. West, and north looks like I don't want to go that direction. Thankfully, I am not. Oh, I don't have any reason to stop, so we're gonna truck all the way back to the house. Back to the house, back to the yard, and uh, I'll probably text in in a second here and let them know when I'm gonna get back. Maybe I have a better chance of getting a better load. Need some miles. Uh, they just took on another owner off so i don't hopefully like I'm, I'm i'm a little paranoid maybe i'm maybe i'm paranoid but uh from the looks of it they might have let him sign a contract so i'm gonna have a conversation with ian about that today not necessarily about them about me because uh, he told me that when it picked up we could sign a contract but he hasn't talked to me about it yet again so <laughs> I'm going to press the issue a little bit because sometimes, in fact, it seems like all the time, unless you're a squeaky wheel, <laughs> no one's really looking out for your interests, except for you. Um, maybe that's not the case in a, in a family scenario, but in a business scenario, yeah, nobody else is, not, nobody else is really looking out for you, so <laughs> it's a little frustrating uh, when you when you work hard and you're faithful and people don't don't look after you, you know, you think they should, but are they actually obligated to? I don't know. I don't know. At any rate, let's get on the road. I stopped, used the restroom, got some more coffee, some decaf, and uh, a muffin. And we should be good to go for the two hour trip back to the yard. Any of you guys are wondering where I was parked when I broke down that one time, took a picture with the hood up on the gravel road. I was parked straight ahead of me right now, just south of Wellsburg. They get on 175 and they get back on to 14. But yeah, I was parked right up there. My initial stop was right after I turned and went west on 175 here. So right down here at the bottom of this hill, right after you turn left on here. Um, and then I lifted up the hill to this gravel road where I can get off the main place. Actually be 
relatively safe. In other news, I haven't had any trouble with this truck, so that's nice. Um, I have had troubles with rental trucks um, emissions-wise before. And uh, so far, if there was some wood in this truck somewhere, even a wood grain item, I would not, you know, knock on wood, but you can't, so maybe I shouldn't say anymore. Ah, probably shouldn't say out here. About where it starts widening up here for a turn lane, that's where I was on the side of the road over here. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to get back on 14 here and uh, head south. We, I don't know, we're probably 25, 30 minutes from um, the yard, and we're picking up a trailer going to Des Moines, Iowa. So hopefully we get there at a decent time where there's nobody else there and it's not too crazy, although I think it probably will be crazy, which will be exciting. I think this is the first time in there with this truck. It might actually be easier to get in and out with this better turning radius. Yes, the automatic makes it easier to get in and out of, in and out of places. It does. not really a record outside type of weather pattern, if anybody's wondering. Uh, I need to double check, but it's, it is windy. Thankfully, on the way down to Des Moines, which is where I'm going, if I haven't told you, I think I have. Um, we'll be going with the wind. Ish, mostly. So that's nice. This looks like a pretty good load. I like, got a little shifting that's gonna happen, it looks like. Yeah, a little bit of shifting, but it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too bad. We just came at that on a really weird angle. Why I did that, I don't know, but you know. Let's see how low it is. Let's see if we have to lift up in this. We shouldn't. This truck sits pretty low, but may have had the trailers rather low as of late. <sighs> yep. Let's see how. how oh, you can't see a thing. <laughs> that window is really dirty. <laughs> okay, what am I going to do? Let's just get under it. Get under it. Low. I don't like that. Should have dropped the, the airbags, but I haven't had to in most of my most 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 of my trailers lately because of how um, how low this truck naturally sits. All right, let's see if I can gently hook up to it. Nope, can't. That's th this is this scenario this exact scenario is why I do not like automatics because you can't feather into anything that that uh that sort of ticks me off I mean I have trouble with it just with a normal clutch that thing just slammed into it and I was just feathering the throttle I get a little composure after that one I've, when I rented a truck and pulled dry van, I slammed into some docks just because I'm sitting here trying to feather the throttle, trying to ease into it. But it, it, it wouldn't let me. Oh, more live loads going out, huh? Anyway, sorry, here we go. Take a little while there. Oh yeah. If you don't have your foot on the brake when you touch the button, they don't, uh, yeah, it yells at you. Ooh, somebody's broken. 
what happened. That's not good. I wonder if it's one of the the um, Menards trucks or if it's somebody else back there. This has a lot of trusses on it, but it sort of feels heavy, so. Oh, must be one of the Menards trucks. He's pulling down the line. See what we weigh. Still not a good judge with this truck. 70, whoa, 77, 940 is what we're gonna go with. As it bounced around there a little bit at the end. I thought it was heavy, but I guess, like I said, I can't tell real well yet. Okay, we do need some paperwork. It is currently, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock, basically. Well, 11 03. So, here we go. We got our trailer, we got our paperwork. Asked Ian again. Um, if he's ready for me to sign a contract. He said, not quite yet. He said, hopefully next month. So hopefully this doesn't continue to stretch out and out and out. I would really appreciate it if it didn't. Um, but just wanted to make sure that I was still, he still knew that I was intending on doing that. Uh, the real reason why I pulled the camera on right now is not to talk about that is because let's find out if my truck's in the shop. I don't think it is. I think I mentioned this earlier. We're, we're just really checking the, the fuel pressure. That's what we're doing. Um, let's see. Did she move? I don't think she did. Nope, still sitting in the same spot. That's okay. We'll see when uh, when they get her in the shop. I, um, you know, I mentioned that it, I'm sort of looking forward to running this truck and finding out the fuel economy and what have you. If I'm honest, I very much missed my truck. My body misses my truck too. But I don't know. I'm when I get out of this truck, I feel sore. <laughs> I don't know if it's the I don't have the leg room that I did in the other truck. Obviously it's a day cab, so that makes sense. But yeah, I, I miss my truck. I want it to be right and I want to run in it again for a while. Oh, I will probably just bite the bullet and have him try to figure out the shake. Just make it all right now. I don't... We'll see. We'll see. Um, I might have enough money to... to do... you know, the motor mounts clutch and uh, reseal the rear structure. I, I, I'm going to ask him for a quote whenever I talk to him next. If it's, if it's within the right range, then, then I might just go ahead and have him do it. Comment down below. Cat 3406E, re, uh, rear structure reseal, motor mounts on the rear, and clutch. How much do you think it costs? It'll cost.
comment down below. I would really appreciate what you guys think. I have no idea. Um, I think that he'll give me a reasonable rate. Um, I don't actually know what his shop rate was, but a couple years ago it was only $80. That's really, really good. Don't you guys start coming over here, though. Don't, uh, I don't want a longer line. <laughs> I don't know what it is right now. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it has gone up, but he's, he's pro I'm sure he will give me a reasonable rate. Reasonable guesstimate. And, uh, so we'll probably have him give, give us that. Um, I definitely want all those things done. I don't think I mentioned the rear, rear main, but that's sort of a no-brainer. Um, motor mounts, rear structure, rear main, and clutch all at the same time. The transmission has been replaced. So we shouldn't have that issue. Um, but if you're gonna go, if you're gonna pay for the labor to get in there, you, I mean, it'd be stupid not to do all that at the same time. Uh, you guys know that I've had some questionable things with my clutch, so. We're gonna be in there, might as well do it, especially with the leaking that's happened there, it might have contaminated the clutch anyway. So, that's gonna happen in the next few months, even if it doesn't happen now. I have a time right at the end of June, um, where I already am planning on being gone for a week. So if it doesn't happen now, it's gonna happen then. Um, that would be convenient then, but it's already in the shop now. And uh, it's leaking pretty bad, so. We'll see what the decision we make is. Well, I'll keep you updated. But as of right now, she has not made it in the shop yet. I'm really just popping up here because I thought the uh, the storm in the background, the sun behind me and the green and the road just looked really cool. We're done with uh, Des Moines now. We got some fuel down in Altoona. Um, got very bad fuel economy this last one. I don't know that I want to tell you. I, there's an obvious reason why it's been bad. I've had over 20 miles per hour winds all day today. Sometimes worse, more like 30. Fighting it all day and we got like 5.8 miles per gallon. The good news, well it's not really good news, but if I was driving my truck, I probably would have gotten closer to five probably where it would have been so we're done for the day um it's uh 2 15 right now um and the reason why we're done is because the shortest they have is waterloo and i do not want to go to waterloo at 3 30 in the afternoon so we're not doing that we're gonna go home maybe we'll take a nap that sounds really really good I'm also hoping that, well, we're going to drive by my truck again, so cross your fingers. They have uh, started working on it. Over to our right right now is Melbourne, Iowa, if anybody cares. See it on the water tower there. Well, yeah, back to the yard. Okay. We don't have a load for tomorrow, or for the rest of the day, but that's all right. Um, they got three, well, four technically, four rail cars coming in tonight. And uh, three of them, three of them are uh, gonna be for, for us and one of them is for trusses. So. <clears throat> what was I going with that? I don't remember where I was going with that. Oh, yeah. Saw all those those shingles and all that topsoil. Uh, rows and rows of shingles and rows and topsoil. Uh, those are all deliveries on truck. And there's not that many real cars that have been coming in. But he said they had like 85 
loads come in in the last week or so like that's a lot <laughs> if anybody wonders i didn't realize they would that would happen that way but um like i said we, there, there are not that many rail cars that have come in lately there were none over the weekend um there's only three or four coming tonight but the number of live loads has or live loads um live deliveries has been massive that's what's keeping us going so i think the storms have passed us for now probably more coming but uh when i looked earlier my house was getting dumped on i sort of followed this storm and never actually got hit by it on the way all the way up the angle so that was sort of nice. So sort of just watched it in front of me the whole way up. <laughs> so anyway, I've ended videos here a number of times recently. So I guess I apologize for that. Not much I can do about it. This is the, uh, I'm just moseying on home now. Take a nap. Get some paperwork done, maybe follow our IFTA. I do need to file my IFTA. If if keep on forgetting to do that on the weekends. Got other things in my mind. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, comment down below. Again, uh, I asked earlier what you think it would cost to uh, have, what was that list? The list was um, motor mounts, uh, rear structure, remain and uh, clutch what do you guys think the cost in that would be repairs and parts let me know we'll see you on the next one guys